The Miami Heat fans are fired up due to comments made by a former NBA player and now analyst, Gilbert Arenas. We'll break down what he had to say and what how the Miami Heat fans are reacting on this episode of Heat Digest. Roughly 10 days ago, Gilbert Arenas went on a podcast called The Nightcap, hosted by Shannon Sharp and Chad Ochocinco, and they discussed all things sports, everything from basketball to football and everything in between. Now, during this podcast, the Miami Heat were brought up, and Gilbert Arenas had absolutely nothing nice to say. I'll pull up the transcript of what the Miami Heat fans are extremely outraged about. Now, in this big transcript, it's a mix of two different people speaking, so I'll just break down what Gilbert said very quickly. He, Shannon had said that Chad thinks that he can walk onto the Miami Heat team. Gilbert agreed with him and said that that Miami Heat team is currently a YMCA team, and they don't have a lot of talent, and their roster is made up of a bunch of just random people. And if Chad was able to put away the McDonald's diet for just a little bit of time, he would be fine because the only problem he would have is the fact that the Miami Heat players are just extremely conditioned athletes and not great basketball players, is really what he said. The transcript is kind of confusing as it's picking up two different voices at once. That's why I didn't read off of that. But that is really the quote from Gilbert Arenas. Now, is there any truth to what Gilbert said? Hell no, not even close, not even remotely close. Our starting five, I don't, Gilbert couldn't walk onto our starting five right now, let alone our team. There's no way. Jimmy Butler is an all star. Bam Adebayo is an all star. Tyler Hero, if he's healthy for enough games and he continues playing the way continues playing the way he is, he's an all star. He's average. He had 25, 28, and 30 in the three games back since his injury. He is a great player. Duncan Robinson is averaging 15 points a game this year. He's improved year after year, and now he's not one-dimensional. He's putting the ball on the floor. He's scoring in the mid-range and in the paint along with from three, as we know he's a deadly lights-out shooter. Hami Haquez Jr., rookie out of UCLA. Him alone, I will take one-on-two against Gilbert and Chad. Will it go that well because Gilbert is still a basketball player and will be able to hold his own? Yes, I, I, I have faith in Hawkeyes. I really do. And that's crazy thinking. Two legit athletes against one basketball, current NBA athlete, you'd think you'd take the, I'm taking Hawkeyes. That sounds crazy, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's no way. The point is, it's an absolute, like, an absolute insult. He's talking out of his back end. There's no way he was serious in saying that. I think he was caught up in the moment and probably hasn't looked at our roster since before the season started. And because of that, he probably just assumes that we're probably 10 and 12 at this point of the year, not playing great basketball, and we're just a, a heat culture. That's not the case. Do we have heat culture? Absolutely. Is our team coming together phenomenally? Absolutely. Are we playing really good basketball right now? Absolutely. If Gilbert Arenas came and watched the game of basketball, watched any form of Miami Heat footage or just looked at some stats, I wouldn't doubt if his opinion changed. Will he ever apologize for his comment? Hell no. He's Gilbert Arenas. He he says what he says. Will he change his thoughts and opinions here in the next month or two or when playoffs come closer? Most likely, I would assume. He's a smart basketball mind. But absolute garbage coming out of Gilbert Arenas in that quote. There's not a YMCA team alive that could score on three of our starters. <laughs> and I am more confident in that than anything else. We are, the Miami Heat are playing just fine right now. And to even look into something that a former NBA player who is 6-18 and 18 all time against the Heat would say is absolutely craziness. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely garbage from Gilbert Arenas. Now... What is the Twitter world saying, like the Miami Heat side of Twitter or the Miami Heat side of the internet saying? Exactly what I just told you. Absolutely garbage. Asking, has Gilbert ever even watched a Miami Heat game this year? Has he ever heard of Jami Haquez Jr.? Has he seen Jimmy Butler? Did he forget he was playing on Miami? What about Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Bam Adebayo? All these guys. Like, even our, not even our starters. Kevin Love, a legit 
a legit NBA player. Hayward Highsmith really coming into his own in the last few games. Like, th- we have a legitimate squad with legitimate depth. Our starting five is legit. Is it, Like, the guys on our starting five could go and start on any team in the NBA. Our six, seven, and eighth guys could go be legit role players really anywhere in the NBA and fit in. And not just because they are elite-level scorers, but they do the things they are requested to do, whether it be defend, rebound and run the floor, set screens and roll to the basket. Play your role effectively, and you will fit in. And that's what's going on in Miami, and it is a beautiful sight to see, regardless of who says what from the outside. Last time I checked, Gilbert does not wear a Heat jersey. He doesn't even work for or in the organization. You know what that means? He's an outsider looking in. Now, and he's probably not doing that much looking and still making these comments. So as a Miami Heat fan, do not, do not look into this too much. It's just another hater saying something more to get more clicks and more views. If he actually did his research and looked in depth to the Miami Heat team that we currently have, especially over these the stretch of these last four or five games, his comments wouldn't have been made. Anyways. Go ahead, like, subscribe, stay up to date on all things Miami Heat from this channel. Uh, Heat Hawks recap coming soon. Go check that out as we beat the Hawks in another divisional game, moving to 7-0 in the division, getting a step closer to taking the first spot from the Orlando Magic and moving up in the Eastern Conference standings. Have a great day. Merry Christmas, everybody.